Hello everyone, welcome back to Rare of the Week. Today we are going to be taking a look at the I-29. So the I-29 is a tier 1 Russian heavy fighter with a rating of 2.7 in realistic. The only time so far this aircraft has been available was during the War Thunder 5th anniversary event which took place last year in November. Well anyway, let's go and take a look at the aircraft's stack card and see how it compares against similar aircraft that it's likely to face in battle. Alright, so we're going to be comparing the I-29 with the BF-110C4 and the Bowfighter Mark 6C, which are both heavy fighters that are in the same BR bracket. Now the first thing you'll notice is in terms of general performance, the I-29 beats them all in every aspect. It's got a better top speed, better maximum altitude, better turn time and a better rate of climb, which definitely is very good for the aircraft. In terms of actual guns though, I would say it is slightly lower than the Bowfighter and the 110, with the Bowfighter having four 20mm cannons, the 110 having two 20mm cannons and four machine guns, whereas the I-29 only has two 20mm cannons and three machine guns, so it is slightly lower, but overall I would say the I-29 does beat them both in terms of practical performance. And as well as that, you will notice that the I-29 also has far higher RP and Silver Lion rewards due to the fact that it is a premium vehicle. Well now that we've looked at the stat card of the vehicle, let's go and take a look at the customization options. So this is the base skin that you start off with with the i29, it is a simple red camouflage with a white underside, the rudders are also white and the rudder control surface has red and white stripes. As you can see there are no Soviet uh, stars or USSR Air Force stars on this paint scheme which means it is a relatively plain paint scheme. There is also the summer camouflage which this time does have the Soviet star and is just a light green with a white or sort of light blue underside. But they're the basic customization options, not really much to see, but now we have looked at that, let's go and take a look at the tactics that you should use with this aircraft. Now the best piece of advice I can give to start this off is at the beginning of every single game, climb to altitude. Now with this thing's great climb rate and powerful engines, you can get to altitude relatively easily. And once you're at altitude, you can use boom and zoom tactics to take out enemy aircraft. As I just said, boom and zoom is the tactic you want to use. It's an easy way to take out enemy aircraft and this thing is manoeuvrable for its size, but it definitely isn't a dogfighter. Now in terms of your guns, the two 20mm Shavak cannons and the three 7.62mm Shavak machine guns do quite a bit of damage and make it relatively easy to take out any enemy aircraft as you can see there. Of course the one problem is your guns will eventually run out, which isn't really that difficult for the cannons as they only have 120 rounds per gun. The machine guns though, over the three machine guns have 2700 rounds, so they do last quite a bit longer. And despite being just three machine guns, they do still pack a punch, as you can see there. So overall, this aircraft is very good. I would personally only advise it for fighting other aircraft. I would not advise using it as a ground pounder, and you can't use it as a bomber because it can't carry any bombs. But anyway, there you go. That was the guide to the I-29. Overall, I would say it is one of the best low-tier premium aircraft in the game, uh, despite being not available at the moment. It is very good. You have great climb rate, good maneuverability for its size, and very good guns. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Do remember that with every week's episode, there will be a poll in the description for next week's episode, so feel free to check that out and go vote for what you would like to see next week. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.